Romans, countrymen, and lovers, hear me for my cause and be silent, that you may hear. Believe me for mine honor and have respect to mine honor, that you may believe. Censure me in your wisdom and awake your senses, that you may the better judge. If there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's, to him I say that Brutus's love to Caesar was no less than his. If then that friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, this is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but that I love Rome more. Had you rather Caesar were living and die all slaves than that Caesar were dead to live all free men? As Caesar loved me, I weep for him. As he was fortunate, I rejoice at it. As he was valiant, I honor him. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. There is tears for his love, joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, and death for his ambition. Who is here so base that would be a bondman? If any speak, for him have I offended. Who is so rude that would not be a Roman? If any speak, for him have I offended. Who is here so vile that would not love his country? If any speak, for him have I offended. I pause for a reply. Then none have I offended. I have done no more to Caesar than you shall do to Brutus. The question of his death is enrolled in the capital. His glory not extenuated, wherein he was worthy, nor his offenses enforced, for which he suffered death. All right, I'm gonna do a 30 second Shakespeare monologue from the book, Tragedy of Julius Caesar. My character is Casca and, all right, my first line. Bid every noise be still. Peace yet again. My next line. I, Mary, was, and he put it by thrice, every time gentler than the other. And at every putting by, mine honest neighbor shouted. My next line. I, if I be alive, and your mind hold, and your dinner worth the eating. And my final line. Do so. Farewell, both. Wait, and I forgot one of the lines. Um. You pulled my cloak. Would you speak with me? All right, that's my monologue. Act one, scene one. Marvelous. Where is thy leather apron and thy wool? What dost thou with thy best apparel on? You, sir, what trade art thou? But what trade art thou? Answer me directly. What meant thou by that? Mend me, thou saucy fellow. Wherefore rejoice? What conquest brings he home? What tributaries follow him to Rome? To grace and captive bonds, his chariot wheels? You blots, you stones, you worse than senseless things. O oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Rome, knew you not Pompey? And you now put on your best attire, and you now pull out a holiday, and you now strew flowers in his way that comes in triumph over Pompey's blood. Be gone! Run to your houses, fall upon your knees, pray to the gods to intermit the plague that needs must light on this ingratitude. May we do so? You know it is the feast of Lupercal. Okay. Good evening, Casca. Has he brought you Caesar home? Why are you breathless? And why stare you so? Why saw you anything more wonderful? Indeed, it is a strange and disposed time and men may construe things of their own fashion. Good night then, Casca. The disturbed sky is not to walk in.